Good morning, guys. Larry the Tractor Guy here. So I've got a 95 TNR here, as you can see. Uh, the customer had a complaint with this tractor here recently since we've had colder temperatures that the heater would not work. And so we ran the tractor, verified that the heater wasn't working. But prior to that, we've had a lot of regen issues with this same tractor, not wanting to do a regen or calculated soot level of, of getting some codes with the calculated soot level being high, 3719 codes, I believe. And we never could really uh, figure out what the problem was with that soot level being high, and it would be pretty erratic. So a lot of days it would regen just fine, and then some days it wouldn't. And it seemed like it depended on the temperature outside. But when we got to where we had colder temperatures and the heater wouldn't work, uh, we started kind of investigating that. And so what we found is, I want to show you this real quick. It's pretty odd. And so you've got three thermostats that sit in this area right here, okay, under this housing. And so we drained the coolant and went to look at the thermostats. And when we inspected the thermostats, I've got the three thermostats sitting here. And if you'll notice, this one is cracked open. And look at that. What do you know? There is a bolt that is wedged in the thermostat and holding the thermostat open how that got there we have no idea okay but replacing the thermostats definitely fixed the heater situation and i do believe it's probably going to fix his uh, erratic um, exhaust clean situations that we were getting into and funny thing is is that i've had this issue once before with this exhaust clean and it was the thermostats uh, that weren't working properly and so just a quick note uh, if you're having a high calculated soot levels in your dpf and having some regen issues um, um, monitor that temperature uh, the temperature on these tractors needs to be above 140 degrees to initiate and complete a good uh, exhaust clean cycle so uh, just keep that in mind when you're having issues like that with these 13 5 liter engines, especially in these 9Rs. And that's where we've seen this issue. And so, uh, hope that helps you out along the way. Hey, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here. Other videos here. Subscribe here. And buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, you you already burned me out. Yeah. We're sitting in the sun over here, man.